talked about a researcher named Timothy Pitchell who's done quite a lot of research into the subject of procrastination. And one of the studies that he did examined the role of guilt in procrastination and the forgiveness of that guilt. When he surveyed 119 college students, he found that students who took the time to deliberately forgive themselves for procrastination in preparation for a midterm exam were actually less likely to procrastinate on future exams. So before you get into any of the other steps in this process, if you are a chronic procrastinator, if you've been kicking yourself for wasting tons of time, first, forgive yourself. And it's also useful to realize that going forward, there is never going to be a perfect moment to study. There's never going to be a perfect time to do it. And this is one of the stories we tell ourselves, right? We think that in the future, things are going to be better. The stars are going to be aligned and we're going to be in a much better position to actually get to work. And what you have to do is tell yourself that this moment right now, it's imperfect. It's not exactly what you want it to be, but it is passable. It's enough for you to get to work and at least make some progress. 